I'm just nice going to turn you. my uh, recording software on here. So, we, we'll start in English. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, if you want, I have a, I have a camera, and uh, just so we have, like, I, I mean, better quality, I could set it up real quick. It's up to you. I mean, the quality looks pretty good, but uh, go ahead. And uh, I also have uh, the blue microphone. Oh, yeah. Blue snowball. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to, I don't know what we'll talk about. We might want to talk about learning Japanese because sometimes people ask me about learning Japanese. And, of course, you're learning Japanese. And, uh, oh, yeah. That's something can, I'm quite interested in. Yeah. We can talk about that in English and in Russian. And then we'll finish off uh, speaking in Japanese, and that might be of interest to uh, to uh, the people, both English speakers and Russian speakers, who uh, follow my YouTube channel. All right, so, that sounds good to me. All right. So is this uh, the new camera? The other camera? Is this the new camera? Uh, no, I I'll have it um, separately, and then I'll send you. The footage. Oh, okay, but you know what? That may not really work because I my software. It's a uh, call recorder. It's set up to film both of us in a split screen. So I think that'll be good enough. So probably your other camera won't come into use, I think. Uh, well, we could still edit the video and uh, okay. have uh, the two, uh, the two uh, halves near by, uh, next by. If I'm uh, technically capable of doing that, I might get some help. Well, I, I could help you out. That's All not right. a problem. So... Anyway, I just very, I just want it to be as good as possible. As good as possible. All right. Well, first of all, uh, I uh, you know I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me, so to speak, at my YouTube channel, and saying uh, let's have a discussion, just as <laughs> that uh, the other um, Andre from uh, Kiev did, you know, and I had my conversation with him. And oh, I didn't even notice. I just oh, thought, yeah, uh, I was watching some of your videos, right. and uh, I thought uh, it was very interesting how many languages you know. Mm -hmm. and, you know, some people they say, "Oh, I'm too old for learning languages," and uh, well, seems uh, like that's not really a thing. I mean, that's I I often, a, I often say that I I genuinely believe that I'm 70 now. I'm better at learning languages today than when I was uh, 16. Uh huh. And, uh, uh, just a second. Uh, I'll yeah. just for me to sync up the video okay. and the audio later. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm ready. All right. Yeah. So I think it uh, age has nothing to do with it. I mean, even if even if to some extent uh, our brain cells are starting to uh, slow down or whatever, it's it's like this whole issue of uh, you know do you need talent? Like it doesn't matter if you're motivated. If mm -hmm. you put in the time, some might learn faster, some might learn better, some might learn more slowly, but you can learn. So, so the whole issue of you're better at uh, 15 than at 60, or as you get older, you can't do this, and that just has no no impact on me at all. It's just yeah. Um, I uh, I hear a lot that um, people say, in particular about Japanese, right? That it's really hard. And honestly, ever since I started, uh, well, I've only been learning it for four months now, right? Um, but for the whole way. I, I, apart from writing, because writing is quite complex, right? Um, I found it. I didn't think that it was difficult, like at all. I, I just, I was just very interested in uh, Japanese culture, right? And um, I didn't really think that it was a very difficult language, especially after Russian. Well, right. Russian is one of the two of my well native languages because. Um, my parents come from the uh, southern part of Russia. Oh, really? Uh, Where about? Uh, called Chechnya. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'm and uh, Very so, much in the news all the time. Huh? I say very much in the news all the time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, so my native language is Chechen. Oh, yeah. And then when I was in kindergarten, nobody could understand me, and right. neither could I understand anyone else. Right. So... Uh, they taught me, uh, my parents taught me Russian, of course. Right. Um, and, um, um, and then uh, when I was in, what? Well, yeah, first grade. Right. I was like uh, almost seven years old. Uh, I started learning English. Mm 
Um, and then I just, since maybe 2010, right. I uh, got, as I, uh, I saw you uh, talk about in some of your videos, that you do, you get a lot of input. Right. That's exactly what I've did, what I've done with English. I watched a lot of... Uh, your English is phenomenal. As I'm sure my this, viewers here at YouTube are saying to themselves, wow, is this guy ever good? Yeah, you <laughs> sound as if you've been living in an English-speaking country for many, many, many years. Really, that's a, remarkable. Thank but you very much. you say Russian is difficult. Chechen must be difficult. I have no idea about, you know, languages in the Caucasus. Um, well, honestly, um, since I, I was taught Russian, and because, of course, I use Russian every day because right. I live in Moscow, I forgot Chechen quite a lot, mm -hmm. so I only know a little bit. I, uh, I speak it with my mom sometimes. Right. Um, and... Um, I'm, I don't really remember that that well, but we have, this is the weirdest thing to me personally, we have four genders. Oh, really? It's, What's that? We have like, what? How do you get four genders? So I, I have no idea. So there's like... Feminine, well, there's masculine, there's masculine, feminine, neuter in Russian, right? Yeah, exactly. So what's and the fourth? English, there's he, she, and it. Right. Oh, well, uh, but they don't use them for objects. No. Well, yeah, I guess they don't have genders right. in that way. But yeah, in Russian, as you know, we have three genders. Right. But in Chechen, we have like uh, feminine, right. masculine, then like neutral feminine, neutral masculine. Oh, interesting. And, um, at first I thought, all right, so feminine, masculine is for people. Right. And Neutral feminine, neutral masculine is for objects, mm -hmm. but no objects can also be masculine. It can be either objects could be either one of the four. Yeah, but you know what? It doesn't surprise me because everything that languages do, as they develop naturally over the course of history, it's all based on conventions. Like if people agree that they're going to have four genders, three genders, five genders, two genders, there's no real logical reason. I always say that in languages, there's lots of junk code there's lots of more stuff there like we can understand like when i started learning russian and i i didn't spend a lot of time on the grammar so very often i didn't know what case something was you more or less figure it out from the context you know there's plenty of stuff there of course it becomes clearer when you understand the grammar better but this just a natural convention on how people communicate make each other feel good uh you know but let me ask you now, getting to Japanese. So are you learning the characters, the kanji? Uh, yes, I don't know that many. I know, I don't know, maybe 50. 50, okay. No, I had the advantage when I was learning Japanese that I had learned Chinese first. So therefore, uh, I had I, the characters, which I think is a big advantage. Because I, but I don't believe you still need to learn the kun uh, reading? You learn the uh, the uh, yeah. You you need to learn the on and kun yomi. In other words, they call it Japanese and Chinese quote mm. Japanese version of Chinese pronunciation. But it doesn't matter because I can start to read, and even if I can't pronounce the character, I know what the character means, and so I have a big head start in terms of reading because the kana is not that difficult to learn. Hiragana, katakana. But the characters, if you haven't done characters, there's a lot of characters to learn. So it enabled me, and I, I believe reading is extreme. Like I always say, reading is for vocabulary, listening is for speaking. If you do mm -hmm. a lot of listening, you get better at speaking. But you need words. Well, honestly, yeah. um, as a, I'm sorry, uh, okay. just real quick. As I was watching like a lot of content online, Every time I was, uh, I heard a new word, mm -hmm. I was like, nope, stop. I paused the video. I went to, uh, I don't know, Google Translate. It, it wasn't that bad for English. Um, and I checked what the word was. Um, and then I looked up several meanings of mm -hmm. the same word. Mm -hmm. uh, and I uh, thought in my head, in what context I can use that word. Mm -hmm. Because just knowing the translation, I think that's only half of the problem. Right. I think it's more important to know um, in what context you can use right. a certain word. And, and that's why I don't put a lot of effort to looking things up in a dictionary because A, I forget it right away, 
and b it's only a small for many words i mean tree is tree okay but but many words you only get a small hint as to what the word means and it's only when you see it in many different contexts that you start to get a real picture of how that yeah, word yeah, is yeah. used. I, I, because of this yeah I, i'm sorry just, Go ahead. i just want to say one thing because of this i have a lot of cases where i know an english phrase or a word but i have no idea what it is in russian right so yeah. it's kind of weird no, but that's good because uh, uh, this same you know you, you you the sooner you get to that stage where you're you're listening or reading and it's becoming meaning without you having to go through your own language i mean that's better we eventually i i feel that we end up with a like i feel in my mind i have a an english language control center in my brain i have a french language control center i have a japanese language and of course, yeah, my, with my weaker languages, that control center isn't so good. Like, so when I speak Russian, I have a control center. Uh, I half the time speak more or less naturally, sometimes translating, but I speak with mistakes because the control center isn't sufficiently well developed. When I speak French, I don't make many mistakes. And when I make, and when I speak English, hopefully I make no mistakes. So, <laughs> you know, you have all these different control centers. But yeah, Japanese, you're saying, I, I agree with you. If, you. if you remove the problem of the kanji, then I think that Japanese is actually not a difficult language. Uh, yeah. The only difficulty is there are certain structures in Japanese that are, you know, different. So you have to get used to them. I mean, it's like in Russian, uvas yeast. Okay, once you, first time you have is uvas yeast, what's that all about? But actually, after a while, you get used to it. That's how it's said. I never translate uvas yeast as to you is. It just automatically means that, you know, you have. And in oh. Japanese, they have this, uh, you know, the, you know, watashi wa. The verb at the end. And the verb at the end is one thing, and also these dividers. So, watashi wa anata ni sore o sashiagimasu. And then, moraimasu sashiagimasu. These words that imply direction and level of politeness when we're doing something to someone else or receiving something from someone else or going to someone else. Basically, that's it. Uh, other than that, the tenses are pretty easy. There's no case endings like Russian. They don't have all the sort of verbs of motion and aspects of verbs as Russian have. They don't have the complicated tenses that English or the you know the Romance languages have. By and large, I found Japanese not that difficult. Um, oh, you know honestly, what I found difficult in Japanese? Huh? You know what I found difficult in Japanese? Oh. And maybe it's true to some extent in all languages, but I particularly remember this being an obstacle when I started learning Japanese, and that is that so many words seem to sound the same. Because in what? fact, yes, wakarimasu, kawarimasu, you know, and because in fact, Japanese has fewer sounds than most oh, languages. Oh, yeah, because they have the syllables. For whatever reason, they, they have fewer phonemes. If you take all of the different sounds, a, i, u, e, o, like their vowels, and you take the different right. consonants and you'd look at phonemes, even if they were to write their language with an alphabet rather than a syllabary, in fact, they have fewer sounds. So with fewer sounds, more words are going to sound the same. So that, to me, was a bit of a problem. Uh, well, I guess I still have not em encountered that problem because, okay. um, well, in my Anki, I have... Uh, about 2,000 notes, mm -hmm. and I would assume uh, some of them are phrases, so I guess maybe I, I've learned one and a half thousand um, okay. actual words. Mm -hmm. I, but yeah, I'm just starting out, so I guess I will only run into that problem later on. Mm -hmm. But I've seen in my dictionary, when I look up a word, for some particular words, there will be like 20 meanings. Right. So, some are verbs, some are nouns, some are adjectives, and well, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll I'll notice this. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a bit like me with Korean. Now, with Japanese, I was in the situation that I was living in Japan, so I was doing a lot of reading and listening, and then I started speaking to people, and I just just kind of learned it. But I'm learning Korean at Link, so every time I look something up in Korean, like it's the same. You look up, especially the short words in Korean. It's got seven different meanings. I, and, and none of them are related. So, and none of them seem to fit the, fit the context. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I just proceed. Like, I feel in language learning, you have to accept a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fuzziness. You don't really understand. You just keep going, and eventually things fall into place. But, uh, and we can oh, yeah. now, you know, we've spoken a bit in English. Now we can speak in Russian, if you want, just to vary uh, it a bit. Uh, 
да, но я хочу, э, э, это любопытно, почему вы, э, вы хотите изучать японский язык? А, э, ну, изначально, э, 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 изначально я начал смотреть, как много людей, я начал смотреть э, японские э, аниме, да. и потом... Но от этого я заинтересовался японской культурой, и потом у меня как-то это пошло своей дорогой, и мне э, хотелось больше... Э, мне, меня сильно заинтересовала Япония, э, и э, потом как-то э, мы с мамой разговаривали, и она мне говорит, э, что она бы хотела, чтобы я изучал какой-нибудь язык иностранный. Она уже много лет хотела, чтобы я изучал новый язык, да. но мне никак не интересно было, кроме английского. Да. И сейчас вы это, это занимай, этим занимаете сколько времени? Четыре месяца. Четыре месяца. Потом... С середины января где-то. Окей, okay. но мы будем сейчас немножко говорить по-русски, а потом по-японски. Но я думаю, Про... что четыре месяца – это не очень много, это очень-очень короткий да, да, срок, да. скажем, да? И, но я, я жил в Японии, и там я мог, хотя в первом начале я только слышал, слышал читал. Я, это не, не было возможно разговаривать с людьми, но после, я не знаю, 6 месяцев... Сколько вы жили? Я там жил 9 лет. Ох ты. Да, много-много. Да? Ну, и э, прежде чем я приехал в Японию, я уже умел говорить по-китайски. Я знал, я не знаю, три тысячи, четыре тысячи иероглиф, иероглифов? Канди. А? Мы канди. по-русски, мы их тоже называем канди. Канди. Ну, по-китайски это ханзе. Нет, это мы, не мы немножко по-другому говорим. Мы говорим, а, как бы на японском правильно канди. Канди, да. Но мы говорим канди. Канди. Окей, okay. uh, А по китайскому? Uh, на китайском? По китайски как это называется? Китайский. Uh, китайский. Uh? Я напишется через тире. По китайски. По китайски. Но я, я имею в виду, я имею в виду э, хара, э, иероглиф, как, который называется э, в случае японский э, кан, канзи, как это называется по-русски э, в случае, в случае э, китайский, китайского языка. А, а раз, разве... Хм. Иероглиф. Насколько я знаю, и китайские, и японские, они разве не, одина... не называются? Да, эти... они одинаково, но я хочу сказать, что по-китайски. Да? Китайцы, когда они говорят о своей писании, да, это называется ханзы. Канджи а? по-японски это только произношение. Это японские произношения, то же самое иероглиф, ханзы, канджи. А, да. Честно говоря, не знаю, но скорее всего просто можно сказать иероглифы. Иероглифы, да. Но э, для этого, для меня это было немножко легче, потому что я уже знал, да, 4000 иероглифов. Для этого изучать... Иероглифы. Иероглифы. И для этого изучать э, японский, но это... Э, как, как вы знаете, хирагана катакана – это просто. Это как изучать да. кирильский, да, это не очень, да. очень сложно. Это Но пара... я начал много читать, и канджи, даже если я не знал, как это произносить, я знал те, э, 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 смыслы, да, что это значит. Значит, это же еще в самом Китае есть э, мандаринский, есть кантонский, э, Разные языки. Да, да, да. А, но при этом письмо одинаковое, а и я... люди могут да, хотя да. бы переписываться. Да, да, да. да, вот. да, да. Ну, ну, для этого для меня японский не был очень трудно. Не был очень трудно. Но Понятно. для много людей, и, и если они не знают китайские писания, да, иероглифы, ну, это будет немножко труднее. Но для меня не очень. Ну, конечно, я там жил, поэтому это было... Условия для меня были очень 
Полезнее, удобнее. Да. Я хочу поехать э, в Японию где-то в августе. Ага. А, И... вы, вы можете какой-нибудь город посоветовать поехать? Ну, ну конечно, э, надо посетить Токио, потому что это, это столица, да? Потом э, yeah. ехать, э, ездить э, Шинкансеном, да, до Нара, Киото. Шинкансен это высокоскоростный поезд. А, скоростной поезд. А, да, так это называется по, по русски? Скоростной. Скоростной. Скоростной, uh, скоростной yeah, поезд, yeah. да, скоростной поезд. Но, конечно, Нара, Киото это очень, очень интересно, очень здорово. А потом я не знаю, на э, Такаяма, это в, в горах, это из Нагоя, э, поездом езди, ездишь три часа, я думаю, mm -hmm. там есть много. Ну, я думаю, надо... а? да -да. Я думаю, надо будет купить, э, у них есть такие билеты, я всегда. Это надо купить в России, это не может купить в, в Японии. А, ну да. Да. И потом это очень, это, э, не очень дешево, но это, это стоит купить, потому что э, в Японии э, железные дороги повсюду. Да, я на да, да, это очень удобно. Да. Но попробуем говорить по-японски. А... Хай, дай джобу. Дай джобу деска. Хай, дай джобу. Когда, 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 you say, now I gotta switch my brain. <laughs> Let's start again. Нихонго, итсу кара, итсу кара, нихонго, бенкио ши хаджи мемаста ка? Боку ва, ичи гатсу ни ши хаджи мемаста. Вау. Знаете, сейчас мы говорили по-русски, и немножко трудно <laughs> изменить мозг. Хотя я говорю намного <laughs> лучше по-китайски, <laughs> по-японски, чем по-русски. Окей. Okay. Надо страна. начинать говорить. Нихунго, не? Анатага, Йонкагецка, Майни, Нихунго, но Бенкио, Хаджи Машта. Бенкио, Ши Хаджи Машта, то? Не? Йонкагец, формат. Что-то, Игорь, Андрей. Да. はい、4ヶ月フォーマット。4ヶ月前あなたが日本語を勉強し始めました。はい、わかった。日本語を勉強し始めました。はい、わかりました。ね。それだったらインダイベトムスルチだ。それだったらあなたはおちんおちね、お
the way I said, 私は言いましたように、as I said,、はい、私は言いましたように、as I said,、はい、言いましたが、書いてください。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、Okay. Uh, 私はね、日本語で、まあ、そ,れあそれを、えー、書くのはね、えーまあ、それにはちょっと私のキーボードを変えないといけないです。私のキーボードを変えないといけません。That's one of those Japanese expressions.、はい、I have to.、Uh, I didn't, I haven't bought one. Okay, no.、えー、私は、私は、今、今、日本語で書く。Uh, right 日本語で書くために、ね、私のキーボードをそのマイクで。あ,あ,ありますよ。ありますよ。だからこれを今度、ひらがなに変えます。ね、私のマークでひらがなに変えて、そしてここで、えーなの、シェアスクリーン、アドピーポーどこで変え。どこで書きますかね、忘れました。スカイプにだけでもどこどこ私は普通には書かないんですよ。普通には、ノーマリー、普通には書かないんですよ。はい、だから、今、今これ、add and share、どこで書くんですか<笑>いや、ニスナイあんたの、すみませんね。あんたの日本語は本当に上手です。いやいや。あのね、普通はね、普通は、普通は、uh, one of these, there's so many useful little expressions, like normally, 普通は、普通は、普通は、you'll have to look these up.、Uh, is it fine if I just、uh, write them down? 普通は、uh, you know, I'd write them if I could figure out where on the stupid, oh, here's a little symbol. Okay, here we are. 大丈夫ですか普通、普通だ、普通だ。Is, 普通 you see that? 普通、uh-huh. 普通なら、普通な、etc. Okay, bingo. 普通 did that get through?、Uh-huh. 普通な、普通は、普通は、normally,、hmm? 普通はあの、私は書かないんですよ、日本語。私は、日本語を書かないです。書かない書かない。書きます is to write.非常に、非常に、right? It's very, right? 非常に。うん。非常に。で、あの、Whoops, I'll give you that. 非常に。で、普通は、非常に。この言葉は、中国語から来たんですよ。中国語 is Chinese, right? 中国語,中国語,中国語はい、わかります。から、from、来ました。うん、だ。ああ、はい、わかります。非常に、で、フェイちゃん、ポキタイスキー。フェイちゃん、えー、普通、プートン。えー、フェイちゃん、非常。えー、普通、is two, right? 普通。普通。普通、is normal, common. ああ。普通。そうですね。You can look that up. で、so, um, ちょっと僕はね、時間を見ないといけません。あのね、えー、漢字をね、漢字を勉強するのは、漢字を、漢字中,、えーそのはい、中国の漢字でしょ漢字を勉強する。勉強する、ねはい
することは That's how they structure it in Japanese. 漢字を勉強することは非常に大切です。非常に大切です。大切 is important. ああ、大切です。And 非常に is a very. Very. 非常に。And、uh, 非常に大切、大部分の Like the biggest part, Dai Bubun. Da Bufun in Chinese. Dai Bubun in ja- Japanese. Dai Bubun no Kotoba. What? Chugogo go kara kimashita. So、mm, most so of the words came from Chinese. Da kara、hey, kimashita. Goji percento, the show. Goji percento. Hi, what can I say? Goji fifty percent. Fifty percent. By new term, Goji percento. No Kotoba. 中国語から来ました。はい、わかります。だから、だから、you understand? だから、therefore,、はい、だから、漢字を勉強することは非常に大切です。あ、uh,、大切 is very important. Very important. はい。だから、uh, the learning,、uh, learning kanji is very important.、Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Absolutely, absolutely, because the vocabulary, it's the core, it's the base of the vocabulary. We'll just finish off in English, and I, unfortunately I have to run. But、uh, just, uh, what,、uh, what was the word that you said?、Um, what I mean? Like, y o u n e e d To you know what? Huh? To you know what? 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 It means to say. To you know what? To you know what? Uh, oh, I'm going to finish off here quickly because I got to run. But in all languages, there are these handy phrases that、mm-hmm. make everything fall together and seem natural. To you know what? What I mean to say. To you know what? Or to you koto wa. To you koto wa. Or no yoni. No yoni. Okay. Or maybe、uh, tatoeba. Tatoeba. For example, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to. 残念ですけど、you know the word 残念、uh, 残念 is, it's a shame. Yeah, unfortunately.、Uh, unfortunately, it's a shame. All those.、Like、all those. Unfortunately, it's a shame. 残念ですけれども、and that's another thing they do in Japanese. 残念ですが、残念ですけれども、and they throw the but in at the end, which doesn't mean、mm-hmm. anything. Right? 残念ですけど、今、私が行かなければならない。Uh, <laughs> I have to go. Or, and and、uh, uh, I, as you know, in Japanese, they have this funny,、uh, if I don't go, I can, I can, I can. if I don't go, it won't be good. So, oh, I just remember、uh, I, my friend、uh, taught me that expression. Yeah.、Uh, something like, na- yeah, I remember that. That means if, it, if I don't do it, It won't be, it's not acceptable, kind of thing. And that's how you say, I have to. So it's like, I must. I must. Same I, I must. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit like four genders in Chechen. You know what I mean? That's, that's <laughs> just how the language is. No explanations,、yeah. no reason. That's how it is. Okay, listen, Dennis, very interesting. I'm going to have to run. Denny. 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 Good luck、yeah. to you. And,、uh, Thank you very much for your time. Oh, not at all. Enjoy it. I'm always happy to talk to a language enthusiast. That's great. <laughs> That makes the world smaller when people can communicate、yeah. in a variety of languages. And, and given your age, you should end up with about 20 or 30 languages. <laughs> okay. Bye for now. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. See you. Bye. Bye bye.